Hi, Anna Sester here with some behind the scenes information on our episode about Albert Otley, or Al as we were calling him. If you remember, that episode involved finding what happened to Albert Allen Alfred Otley, he had three different names, after his 1922 marriage to Florence Witten. They had a child together, Alan too, who never saw his father again after the age of about five, and he grew up thinking his father had abandoned him. Through a series of documents and research, we were able to find out in 2017 that Al had actually died of Hodgkin's disease in 1933 and was buried in the Waltham, Massachusetts family plot. There's so much more information in this story and, and in the documents alone, so let's look in depth at some of those documents and learn more about this character, Al and Otley. So first, if we look at his birth record, there's one piece of information that is important and we don't want to overlook when we're doing family history. It's often very hard to find women in the family tree because we need to know their maiden name in order to go back further in their tree. This information is hard to find at times as the U.S. did not require states to keep birth records until the early 1900s and because marriage records don't always withstand the test of time. Albert's birth record names him as Alfred Otley. We discussed this name issue in his episode. The important information on this document is that it lists his mother's maiden name as Donegan. This allows me to locate her as a child with her parents in Scotland and go at least another generation back in the family history. Let's now take a look at the marriage record for Albert's first marriage to Janie McClary on June 12, 1912 in Waltham, Massachusetts. We have confirmation of the bride and groom's parents' names. We also get information as to the occupation of the bride and groom. The bride is a telephone operator, one of few professional occupations open to women at the time. The groom is an undertaker. This is an interesting occupation for a young man and was not expected in my research. Before the 1900s, funerals were done at home in the front room of the house. Visitors would come and pay their respects at the home and the dead would be buried in the family cemetery. This began to change after the Civil War as more national cemeteries were established. Additionally, the profession of undertaker also appears, and by the 1900s, it's well established as a way to take care of the dead. Instead of laying the dead out at home in the best room or the front room, um, the deceased were taken to the undertaker's establishment where a service was done, and then they were laid to rest in the local cemetery. As an undertaker, Albert would have been part of this change in our funeral history in the United States. Last, we'll look at Albert Otley's death record. There's a lot of information that can be gleaned from a death record. Besides the death date and the cause of death, we also learned that Albert worked as a salesman for the eight years before his death. I guess he got out of the undertaker business. We learned that he lived at 44 Elson Road in Waltham, Massachusetts, and we note that his first marriage is shown on the death record. He's the widower of Jane McClary, but not his second marriage. The informant of his death is his mother, Grace. She's providing the information for the death certificate. The fact that she doesn't mention his second marriage likely means that she doesn't know about his second marriage. This document also tells us where Albert is buried, Mount Feek Cemetery, field trip time. Having a name of the cemetery allows us to find it and take a picture of the headstone and knowing the last known address allows us to visit the home if it's still standing. Remember, don't forget to thoroughly read the documents you find on your ancestors. Sometimes there's hidden clues that'll provide you a more complete picture of your ancestor, allow you to visit their gravesite or former home the next time you travel. Thanks for watching this episode of Behind the Scenes. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button. Subscribe as well by clicking the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications.